This video is a tutorial on how to make a digital photo map like this that you can display on your TV, digital frame, or have printed for physical framing. If you've already purchased your digital photo map, please keep watching, and if you're interested in purchasing one, there's a link down below in the description. First of all, thank you so much for your purchase. It really helps me and my small shop. Second of all, once you have your purchase, with your digital download, you'll have a PDF file that looks like this, and you will click on this button that will take you to your photo map in Canva. If you don't already have a Canva account, you can sign up for one for free, and you can access it after you've done that. So once you have your Canva account, you will be able to go to your photo map, and it will look like this. The first step is you're going to want to update your personalization to your name or your couple name, or you can remove it all together if you don't want any personalization. However, for this tutorial, I'm just gonna keep it as it is and we'll move on to the next step. So next, you will want to upload your desired photos for each state, or you can use the photos available on Canva in the photo folder. To upload your own photos, you can go to this Uploads section here and upload your media, or you can simply drag and drop your photos into the section here. So here, I will just drag and drop, and then it will import my photo. Once you've uploaded your desired photos, then you'll move them to your corresponding state that you'll want to use them. So for this, I have a couple examples that I'll use. For each state, you might have specific dimensions that might work better than others, like California will do better with a vertical photo, and other states, like Kansas, will do better with a horizontal photo. So things just to keep in mind. So first, I'll do a photo in California, and you can see once you pull in your photo, it highlights the state purple, like this, and then you can double click it, and this will allow you to edit the dimensions. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can move it to the left or the right to get your position just right. So I want it something like this so you can see the Ferris wheel and the couple in the background, and then you just click off to the side and it will sit just like that. I'll do a couple other states just to show for reference. Now that I have a couple of photos in here, you can do a couple of optional steps next. So first, let's say for example, in between states like California and Nevada here, you want a border uh, just to add a little more distinction between those states or any other states where you have side-by-side -side photos. So what you can do is you see this purple block floating out here this is actually a complete border, and you can bring this to the front. You'll right click and then click bring to the front. When you do that, it'll show the borders for all the states. When you do this though, you cannot pull any more photos onto your image. This becomes an image on its own that covers all of the states. So if you want to add any more photos, you'll need to right click this outside border again and click send to the back. Again, this is totally optional. If you like how it looks as it is, you can just leave the borders on the back of the states and then you can continue to just update the photos as you like. Another optional step is you can change this background color. Right now it's set to a light blue uh, but you could change it to white, or uh, darker gray, or any other color that you like. Anything that you want to undo or change, you'll hit these back buttons up here at the top, just like this. Then once you're done and happy with your photo map, 
you'll click this share button over here and then you can click download. Here you'll have a couple options. I recommend doing a PNG option, this will be a photo option, or you can do a JPEG if you want to share with friends by email or something, but a PNG will work best if you're trying to display it in a digital frame or upload it to uh, a printer website to have it printed physically. A couple suggestions for having this framed is you could do it digitally and have it uploaded to a digital photo frame or even to your uh, TV or computer as a background. You can also have this sent to a local printer such as FedEx, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, any sort of local photo printer and I'll put a couple links below for you to access as well as in your how-to guide that comes with your download. So that's it. Um, next up I'll go over a couple FAQs to help you with any questions that you may have along the way. First question you may have is how do you reset a photo back to the default state name image? Let's say you don't like this photo that you uploaded or the dimensions aren't quite right. So there are a couple ways to do this. So first, if you're in the same session that you started and you just replace this photo, you can just hit the back button or control Z and it'll go back to the default image. If you started a new session like me and you can't do this, that's no problem too because with your download, I included all of the default state name images so you can simply replace them back to the default. So let's start with California. So like any other photo, you'll put it over the correlating state and click to and double click to adjust the size and position. So I want all of the state text to be similar size, so I just made it a little bigger. And I'll repeat that for the other related states as well. So now we have all of our states back to the default state image. Another question that may come up is why can't I add a photo to my state map? So this will happen when your borders are pulled on top of the states. The reason for this is because the borders themselves are a photo. So you need to send the borders to the back by right clicking this purple outer block and sending to the back. Once you've done that, you can see that the states are clickable again and you're able to drag and drop photos into each individual state once again. You may also be wondering why you can't move a photo to a certain position on each state. So for example, if I pull this photo into California, I can only move it to the left and the right because we've reached the top and bottom bounds of that state's frame. So in this case, this photo may not be the best for the state's photo frame because you can only fit so much into that state's photo frame. So it might be better to use a vertical photo or a photo with more background so that you can fit the subject into that state nice and neatly. This is a glitch that I noticed in Canva where sometimes the images disappear. All you need to do is zoom in and zoom out and this will restore the original images though. Another question you may have is what to do if you accidentally move a state. All of these states are individually placed to make it easier to add a photo. But for example, if you are trying to add a photo and accidentally move a state instead like this, I recommend you hit the undo button as quickly as possible. You can manually try to place the photo back to where it was, but this may cause some misalignment. So I recommend just to hit the undo button as quickly as possible.
So this photo map is designed to be 36 inches wide and 24 inches tall, which is ideal for a poster or for putting on your big screen TV. You can, however, save this as a PNG and downsize it for smaller frames, like an 8x10, and you may have a border on the top or the bottom, uh, or any other dimension that doesn't quite match this 24 by 36 proportional dimensions. Next you may be wondering where you can have your photo map printed to be a poster size. And you can actually have this printed at most local printing companies, including FedEx, Walgreens, CVS, or online companies such as Vistaprint, etc. So I'll have a couple links uh, in the how-to guide along as with this video where you can have this printed in a poster size to hang up at, around your house. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you to create a digital photo map like this or a physical one to hang around your house. If you have any questions that weren't covered in this tutorial, feel free to message me on Etsy. And if you like this product, please give us a five-star review. It helps out our shop so much. Thanks so much, and I hope you enjoy.